X-Men Gold number 10 by Mark Guggenheim and Lan Medina. In Russia, a young girl runs for her life. Sadly, she isn't much of a match for the reanimated Omega Red, undead enemy of the X-Men, and reborn at the hands of the Russian Mafia. Meanwhile, back at the mansion, the gold team plays cards but can't seem to defeat Logan. Kitty brings dinner out, and her and Peter share a flirtatious moment, much to their embarrassment in front of their teammates, when suddenly, the phone rings. Peter gets a shock. Supposedly, the uncle he never knew he had has looked him up. He'd followed his nephew's adventures in America, but unfortunately, there's grave news from Moscow. The man's Russian mafia boss has returned to life one of the most sadistic killers of all time, Omega Red. The X-Men board the Blackbird, and Logan explains who they're dealing with. Basically, a serial killer who was put in the secret weapons program of Russia and given a mutant healing factor. They enter Russian airspace, and Peter works to lobby his sister to the cause. The Rasputin siblings walk to the meeting spot with Logan and Kitty watching from afar. Storm flies overhead with the rest of the team hiding as well. Their uncle walks up and exchanges pleasantries, though Magic is skeptical. He tells them how Omega Red's resurrection is temporary. He needs blood to live, proof that even his ability to do that for long is in jeopardy. Suddenly, they're surrounded by Kamalov's super-powered thugs. The X-Men leap into action and defeat the mobsters thanks to teamwork and Storm's lightning, though when the smoke clears, the mobsters are gone, and worse yet, Ileana is missing. The goons walk her into a chamber to meet the gangster's leader. He has a use for her. Just then, Arkady Rosevich, the undead super mutant, looks down upon her, and with that, we're left to be continued. You know, Omega Red has got to be one of the greatest X-Men foes of all time. Boring during the classic Jim League series of the 90s, he's been reintroduced a few times with each time a little more savage than before. Someone like this deserves a skilled team to take him on, and I think this group is more than affable to handle it. I've been looking forward to this showdown and can't wait to see how it goes this time. I give this issue a 9 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it spanning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.